Hi guys, I'm going to read Big Mum Plum. Now some of you will know it. I've read it in the classroom. This was my my children's one of their favourite stories, and they are now 23, 21, and 16. And actually, they could probably say it word for word perfect without the book. They used to love this story. It's from a local author, Daniel Postgate. Now listen up, said Big Mum Plum, and hear the words I say. Eat your porridge, everyone. You're off to school today. That gave her pigs a mighty scare. They jumped from table, stool and chair, and scattered here, there, everywhere, and hid themselves away. Oh, you can run, yeah, Big Mum Plum, but I will always find you. You creep into that hiding place, so very secret, very safe. Then turn around, you'll see the face of Big Mum Plum behind you. The first to go was Porky Paul, behind the coat rack in the hall. A clever place to hide, no doubt, except his feet were sticking out. Then after him was Sneezy Tim, who hid inside the washing bin. He nearly got away with it, until he had a sneezing fit. Achoo! Then next one out was Betsy May. Oh, what a place to hide away. Big Mum Plum, she pulled the chain. Dear Betsy won't hide there again. Number four was Sooty Sid. Up the chimney Sid had hid. Mum grabbed her brush and pole by pole she shoved it up the darkened hole. Until she heard the pleasing pop of Sydney coming out the top. Out in the yard, Mum spotted Lance, squatted by the potted plants. She stalked him like a cunning fox and caught him by the hollyhocks. Then into Susie's room crept Mum and blew on Sue's euphonium. She blew it hard with depth and feeling. Susie nearly hit the ceiling. And last of all, of course, was Trevor. Trevor being oh so clever, hid away in Big Mum's car, the wisest place to hide by far. How smart of you, dear Trev. Well done, but not as smart as Big Mum Plum. Mum loaded all her pigs on board, then off to scary school they roared. But when they got there, what they saw just wasn't scary, not at all. Photographs of far-off places, painted plates with funny faces, Tips on how to tie your laces, butterflies on strings. And best of all was Miss Small Miss Peach, who welcomed them and made a speech on how much she would love to teach them lots and lots of things. The pigs had such a smashing day, they didn't want to go away. They all decided they would stay when home time came around. Off they went, north, south, east, west, into cupboard, trunk and chest. Poor Miss Peach, she did her best, but not one pig she found. Then through the door came Big Mum Plum, and with a roar of, Here I come! She caught them all, yes, every one. And when the dreadful deed was done, she took them home for buttered bun and chocolate spread on toast. School is great. Yes, school is fun. We love our school, they told their mum. But not as much as big mum plum. Mum plum, we love the most. Thank you. Hope you enjoyed it.